everyone and welcome back to the Cereal Nutrition YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over a glute warm-up and a couple glute exercises that you can do at the gym or at home because all you need is your body weight and maybe a band. So I'm going to uh, play for you my entire warm-up. I'll just talk over that and then at the end I'll include some exercises to help grow those glutes. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just put the band on. So for the entirety of the warm-up, not necessarily for the work, we're going to keep the band just above the knees. Um, my band just happens to be black. You're going to just want to find a band that's of a comfortable resistance for you. First exercise we're going to do is a banded squat. Feet are shoulder width apart and we're just squatting down, coming right back up. Where the hands are don't really matter. Sometimes I put them in the front some, and just hold them there. Sometimes I um, put them out in front of me to counter my weight, just like that. So the band I really like on all squats, like right now I'm doing barbell squats with a band, just because it really helps me sit back and use more of my glutes instead of my quads, which is what I like to use all the time to do glute exercises. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna move on to a standing banded abduction. I'll show you guys this exercise from the front as well, but basically we're just driving our knees in and then pulling them apart. This is a burner, if you ask me. <laughs> this is a terrible, terrible warm up. My glutes are on fire when I'm done with this. So just knees in, bring them out. The glutes are helping us bring the knees out. We don't want our knees to cave when we're squatting, so this is telling the glutes, hey, pull us out. <laughs> okay, next we have a lateral walk. We're gonna be in a slight bend the entire time, and we're just walking side to side. I'm taking a nice, deliberate, wide step, wide, strong step, I would say. Um, you can also do this monster walk with your toes pointed in, and you'd get more medius and minimus activation. Okay, we're going to move on to a monster walk. Again, the legs are going to be basically bent the entire time. Um, I do this one going forward and back. When you're moving forward, I'll go forward again, you are engaging the hip flexors and when we go backwards, we're working everything. That's another burner for me. That's what this exercise, the monster walks look like from the back. So you can tell that my knees are bent and legs are staying shoulder width apart the entire time. Okay, last thing I do for my warm up are some seated abductions. I'm going to do 15 leaning forward, 15 upright, and 15 leaning back. When we're forward, we're getting all the muscles, all the all three parts of the glute, max, medius, and minimus. When we are upright, it's more medius and minimus. And then when we lean back, we're getting more glute max. When we're leaning back, the glute max is more, or the whole glute is more extended, so we're getting a lot more activation and work done. So I do 15 of each of those, and then I call that my entire glute warm up. So now maybe we're wondering why are we purposely activating the glutes? Why am I going to do an entire glute warm up? And that is because the glutes are very lazy. Most of us sit for work all day long, and even if you stand for a job, the glutes are lazy. They will let literally anybody else do the work so they don't have to. In my case, in particular, maybe you can tell with yourself, um, my quads will take over for absolutely anything. If my glutes let them, they will gladly do the work. So when I squat, I feel that a lot more in my quads than in my glutes, and most exercises, especially if I'm not activating them beforehand, 
I'll feel them exclusively, well, I'll feel them exclusively anywhere but my uh, glutes where I want to feel them, even if it is a glute specific exercise like any of the exercises I'm about to show you. So we activate the glutes on purpose before we begin our workout. Honestly, I do it for every single workout, whether I'm going to do a lot of legs or not. We're doing that to turn them on to tell them, hey, it's going to be your turn. You need to do the work do this exercise so that you grow, you are stimulated, and you progress. Not something else that I don't really want to work because that's not what this exercise is supposed to be for. So basically, the short story is the glutes are lazy, they'll let anybody else take over, they'll turn off as soon as they can. When we sit all day, they're not activated, so when we just randomly stand up, they don't think it's time for them to turn on, so we're purposely trying to do that or we're trying to turn them on by doing our banded glute warm-up. Okay, so now we're going to move on to glute exercises that you can do at home or at the gym, but all you need is your body weight and a band. Um, for some of the exercises, I guess technically you need something to put your um, shoulders on, your back on. I'm using a bench in the video, but you can use a chair, um, anything, maybe a folding chair would probably be really good height. If it's a folding chair, you're going to want to probably place it against a wall just so it doesn't slide. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, I also have a box in my garage gym. If you have something like that, you could use that. Um, my bench in particular is a little bit high, so I sometimes have to play around with exactly where my feet are. But you can probably find something that you already have at your house if you're doing this at home. And if you're at the gym, there's plenty of benches. There's You could use a ball if you really needed to, like um, an exercise ball. Okay, so let's get started on those exercises. I'll walk you through those as well. Exercise we're starting with is just a glute bridge. So we are on the ground, feet are shoulder width apart, just raising the hips up, squeezing at the top. We can also do this exercise with just one leg to put a little bit more pressure on one side of the glute. So in this instance, my, okay, in this instance, my right foot is down, which means my right leg is the working leg. We can also do this with a band. So I'm going to show you two different variations. The first variation is with the band under our knees, which is different than how we did the warm up. squeezing the glutes real tight at the top. And then you can also try it with the band above your knees, which is personally what I prefer, but you can just play around with it and see what feels better to you. And same exact thing, feet are shoulder width apart, hands are palms up, just raising the hips up, squeezing the glutes at the top, making sure that we're all the way to the full, fully extended. Okay, now we have a hip thrust. So my shoulders are elevated. This is where I'm using a bench and you would, meet, you would need maybe a box or a chair or maybe you could just even use your sofa if you were at home. Again, we can do this single leg and I am tucking my chin to keep a neutral spine. A lot like the glute bridge, but this time your shoulders are elevated. Literally the same thing in terms of the motion but now the hips are elevated and this is going to recruit more hamstring. We can do this as a banded exercise as well. This is with the band below my knees. For pretty much everything, I do prefer the band above my knees. But whatever works better for you is what works better for you. So now I'll move the band. and always, always squeezing the glutes at the top. Okay, and then one more variation would be to do an abduction at the top of the hip thrust. So you can see right there, I'm pulling my knees actively apart at the top. That's a lot like what we were doing in the warm up when we were standing and also seated. This is a tough exercise. I'm not very good at it, um, but that's okay. I'll get better and hopefully be able to adapt a lot. So this is a skater squat. 
I'm hinging at the hips first, and then I bend the knee and bring it right on back up. Since my left leg is down, my left leg is the working leg. Here is that same exercise from the front. Again, my left leg is down, so my left leg is the working leg. And right there, you can see I didn't really keep my balance that well. That's okay. If that happens to you, that happens to me too. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna take it to the ground, just showing you a little setup. This would be a side-lying abduction. I like to put my hand underneath my stomach or like on the side of my stomach, just to make sure I'm holding everything nice and tight. Both of my hips are raised off the ground. I guess that was necessary for one of them, but you know what I mean. And these are just done really slow and controlled. This is like somewhat of a finisher that I would do at the end of a workout. And then here we have finally our banded side lying clam. Hips are up, knees are bent. I have a band above my knees, just raising my one leg up. That's a burner. <laughs> so that is our glute warm up and glute workout. Hopefully, those exercises are helpful to you. I do that glute warm up before every single one of my workouts, whether I'm doing glutes and cardio for the day, just cardio for the day, or a workout with some legs in it, some leg workouts in it, or a workout without too much legs, but maybe some. Even if I'm doing like an overhead press, I feel like it's beneficial for my glutes to be firing. A deadlift, for instance, is gonna use 80% of the muscles in your body, so you want everything to be firing the right way. In terms of the overhead press, I do want everything to be tight, so if my glutes are loose, then maybe my core isn't as tight, my back is doing work it shouldn't be doing, or I'm not stable through the ground. So again, still having my glutes activated and ready to go is going to help me even in an exercise that's not specifically for my glutes. We walk around all day, we probably want our glutes to be on because they should be working while we're moving, okay? Hopefully this video was beneficial to you. I hope you can implement some of these exercises or even this warm up into your workout routine. Make sure you give this video a like. Um, it's a little bit different than what I've been doing, so hopefully it was more geared towards what you need. So give this video a like if it did help you out and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you wanna see more videos like this, just leave a comment below and I will see you guys next time. Happy glute pumping.